everyone, this is your math guru. In this video, I'm going to show you how to find the missing term in a quadratic pattern or a quadratic sequence. Please don't forget to click on the like and subscribe button below for more easy to understand math concepts. The quadratic pattern or sequence has the nth terms formula as we have a n squared plus b n plus c. When you have a quadratic pattern, what is unique is that the second difference is always the same. So the pattern given in the question is given as 6, 15, x and 45. To find the first difference, the first difference is the term in front minus the term behind. So therefore, to find the first difference, we have first difference. We have 15 minus 6, which will give us plus 9. x minus 15. We don't know the value of x, so that will stay as x minus 15. Then we had the last difference, 45 minus x. Because we don't know the value of x, we are going to leave that as it is. As an expression we have 45 minus x the second step is to find the second difference which is constant so we have second difference remember to find the difference is always the term in front minus the term behind so in this case the term in front is x minus 15 this is an expression i'm going to leave that in the bracket minus the term behind that's nine and we also have the term in front 45 minus x minus the term behind x minus 15. if i simplify what i will have is x minus 15 minus 9 and on my right hand side i have 45 minus x minus x plus 15. What I've done is, the minus 1, there's an invisible one here, in front of the bracket, we'll multiply all the terms within the bracket. And because it's a quadratic number pattern, we know that the second difference is the same, so therefore, the term on my left must be equal to the term on my right. To simplify further, we have x minus Minus 15 minus 9, that's minus 24, is equal to, we have 45 plus 15, that's 60, minus x minus x minus 2x. Simplifying, I'm going to start by moving my minus 2x to the left hand side, that will become a positive. Or, using the balance method, I'm going to add 2x to both sides. So what I have is x plus 2x as 3x, as you have my minus 24, equals 60, 2x minus 2x, that's 0. Then I move my 24 by adding 24 to both sides. What I have is 30x, 24 minus 24, that's 0 equals 60 plus 24 that will give me 84 and to find x i will divide both sides by 3 and therefore the value of x equals 84 divided by 3 which is 28 thanks for watching bye